everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolina and I hope you all are doing well. Um, I try to film two videos a week for you guys. You, typically I post them on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, and in today's video I wanted to do a comparison on two of my Chanel bags. The classic medium flap and then one of my minis. So the medium classic, classic flap that I have is in this beige color and I do have a little protective felt on there. So let me take that out for you guys. Okay, so here is my medium classic flap. This is in a beige color. I don't believe this is the Beige Claire. This is a 2011 um, bag. I did get this pre-loved and it was listed in very good condition. Um, there is some plating wear to the hardware here, but Overall, this bag is in excellent condition for it being over, at this point, 12 years old. So that's my medium classic left. And I'm going to be comparing it to my mini rectangular, which I also have the felt on. So let me take that off for you guys. So this is my mini rectangular. This is in the iridescent black caviar. And you've seen this um, bag before in a what's in my weekend bag. So the reason why I wanted to compare these two bags for you guys is because as much as I do love my medium classic flap, um, I do tend to prefer the mini rectangular over the medium classic flap. Um, I know they are two very different sized bags, but I don't find that this fits much more than my mini rectangular, mainly because of that double flap right here. And also I find the crossbody strap of this much more comfortable than trying to crossbody this bag because as you may know, the strap on the medium and I believe the smalls too, I don't own a small classic flap so I cannot confirm that but I believe they are just as short as the medium classic flap. So as I mentioned this is a 2011 bag that I purchased pre-loved from Fashion File and in my previous what's in my bag you've seen this and this also was purchased from Fashion File. Um, this bag came in excellent condition and the only real wear that I've had to this bag since owning it for about, I think a year and a half or going on to, is just some plating wear to this little turn lock right here. But overall, there has not been any other signs of wear. There was a little scratch. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's right on this little area, but you could barely see it. I feel like you'd only really see it if you're like looking at it up close in person. But, so, yeah. So I wanted to show you guys the comparison of what fits in this bag versus the medium classic flap. So let me do that for you guys. And I do have an organizer in both these bags. As you can see, this is the organizer and it is from Zumoni. That's where I typically get um, my organizers for my bags is from Zumoni. And the same thing with this bag, as you've seen in my other video. Um, I have a Zumoni organizer in there too. So I have a few items here for you guys to show you the comparison of what fits and then I'll also show you guys later um, like mod shots of me wearing the bag and why I find this to be a little bit more comfortable crossbody than 
the medium classic black. So in this bag, currently I'm using my um, newest purchase from Polen. So this is the Netty, I think it's called, um, card holder. So I'll put that in there and that does take up a decent amount of space because it is a bulkier um, card holder. Um, then I will put, typically my essentials are my card holder, um, a key fob, hand sanitizer, which I have hand sanitizer right here. I have a chapstick or a lip gloss, typically. Um, I have a hand cream. This is the brand I typically use. And I'll probably put it with the narrower side going down so that it doesn't scratch up the leather up here. And then I usually put a perfume in. This is the Replica Coffee Break. And I typically put that at the top. And I still have a decent amount of space in here. Um, I'll put some mints in. everything in there so there's the chapstick the hand sanitizer the hand cream my perfume the mints and the card holder and I still have all of the space at the top but this is typically what I keep and I will close the bag up for you guys and it closes no problems, there's no bulging, everything looks great. So that's what I typically fit in here, but if you have a slimmer card holder, so let's see, I have this coin card holder from Louis Vuitton, so let's put that in there. So that fits perfectly. As you can see, the coin card holder is right here, the mints are right here. And let's see. You might want to put your um, key pouch in. And that fits in perfectly. And then I do have my six ring key holder, but I don't think it'll fit with the key pouch and the mints, but let me take a look. Okay. So if I do remove the mints, I could fit the um, coin card holder, my six ring key holder, my key pouch, and then on this side I still have the hand sanitizer, my chapstick, and my hand cream. And then at the top I'll put my perfume, and that all fits, and it closes just fine. So, still no bulging, everything's great. So let's see compared to what we could fit into the medium classic flap. So, let's take all of this out. Okay. So here is the medium classic flap. I typically never store anything in this back compartment here. Um, I know some people say that they put stuff in there, but some people say that it um, damages the integrity of the stitch over here by putting something back there. So I just keep the felt usually here um, since this is a 2011 bag just to avoid any further damage from the zipper here. 
so that I never touch. So here's the bag. In this pocket, I also never really put anything in here. Um, I don't really find a use for it, but I'm sure um, you could put your phone if you have a slim phone in here and that will work fine. So let's see what we could fit in this bag. So let's put the pull-in card holder. Okay. So there's that for you. Um, let's put the um, coin card holder. six ring key holder. Let's see if that'll fit. So that will fit standing upright. So let's put the hand sanitizer. Okay. I'll probably put my um, hand cream at the top here, like that. Let's see, my perfume. Let me see if I could stand it up right or if. So I'll probably have to do the same thing and just place it on top here, right there. And then my chapstick will also just have to kind of be placed up top here. So the bag is pretty stuffed when I go to close it. This button kind of gets stuck on these two flaps but let's see if we could close her so she does close and there isn't really too much bulging going on the only thing you could see there's just a little bit from all the stuff right here in the middle pushing out so kind of is out here though so it makes the flap stick out a little bit but it does fit a slightly bit amount more but again for some reason personally I tend to go for the mini I don't plan on ever selling this bag but I don't know, for some reason I just gravitate more towards this bag. Um, I know this bag is probably more comparable to the small with what it fits, but yeah, for some reason I just go for this one more. It could be a combination of the strap length along with the hassle of having to deal with these two flaps every single time and then when I go to close it I have to always make sure that I line it up because as you can see since this is an older bag whoever had it previously there is a little bit of damaging from this little button catching over here but it's not too too bad but yeah so that's what fits in this um, medium flap um, let's see I did want to show you guys in case um, anybody was wondering um, I believe the mini pochette 
which I have right here, does fit in this bag. Um, so if you do have a mini pochette, that does fit in there. And then you do still have some room to spare, but not too, too much. But yeah, so I know um, the mini pochette does not fit comfortably in the mini because then it takes up all that space. So here's the mini and or yeah, here's the mini pochette in the mini rectangular. And you basically can't fit anything else in here. This is basically the entire bag. I'm sure you could fit a little bit more if you didn't have an organizer, but personally when dealing with bags that are this price range, um, I try to take care of them as best as I can so I feel more comfortable since they do have the leather interior to just have an organizer inside of these bags. But I'm gonna show you guys right now what they look like on. I'm about 5'4 in height and about a size four or size medium in my clothing. So to give you guys reference on that. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys the mod shots for this. minis you can buy these little I keep them in my bag all the time they're these little clips they look like this and you just open them up like this and you can actually shorten this strap by pulling these in depending on how long you want this chain. And you just take the clip and clip the two sides together. And you could actually turn this into a shoulder bag if you do want to um, shorten the strap on this. So these are great. You could purchase these on Amazon. I know sometimes girls tell you that their sales associates give them these, but I purchased mine off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful and I hope that if you're debating between these two and you wanted to see kind of what fits in both or how the strap looks like on this versus the mini. Hopefully that helps you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.